Shh. Quiet down, please. Okay, what I'd like to do for these two problems is show you how to determine where the um, angle lies in which quadrant, all right? And I'm actually going to do this in um, two separate uh, videos, even though I have the different ones. So the first one, it's we're given a number, right? And so I said, if I say, well, where, what quadrant is this in? Now, first of all, you guys need to remember what? Like, four, fifth, made you guys first start? Like, sixth grade, maybe? You started learning your quadrants? Yes. Right? So we're going to have to go back and remember that. Right? We'll use Roman noodles to remember. Okay? Next thing is, it says what quadrant. So if I'm given a negative 1, you guys are pretty easy to remember degrees, right? Degrees, I'm going through there. But now we're getting a negative 1. What am I dealing with when I'm using negative 1? Well, that's going to be talking about radians. So let's just go back through there again and deal with this and say we have a circle. Right? And remember, this is what we call our initial side. And I haven't created my angle to do our, our terminal side, but this remember, this is where we always start. Right? And remember, if I was going to go this direction, it's positive. This direction, it's negative. So it says negative, so that's going to tell me I'm going to go in this direction, correct? Yeah. Then it says negative 1. Remember, negative 1 is going to tell us that's how many radians we're going to be moving. So remember, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to take one radian, which is my radius, and I'm going to kind of wrap it around out here. So I'm roughly giving to this point. So I could say, here's my angle from here.